Hey, welcome to the Daily Beer for August 6, 2019. And, um, okay, the, on the first day of my vacation, like I'm back from vacation, I was at work today, but the first day of my vacation, I went and saw Jaws. And then the next day I did the 5K. And um, But the Sunday before we went away to the farm, um, me and, and Bethany went and saw Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And um, I know it's late, but you know what? I want to talk about it. Um, so this is, I'll start. I'm a Tarantino fan. Quentin Tarantino. If you're like, what the heck are you talking about? Quentin Tarantino is a film director. He has made what he considers nine films. Um, technically ten because one of them got split into two parts. But technically nine for him. And um, he he's very heavy on dialogue and exposition and awesome guys talking cool things to each other. And he loves film, and because he loves film, he's watched so many films, like gazillion films, and he loves making references to other films and, and things. And so, uh, this is his ninth film, and this one's set in 1969, and it's all about uh, an actor who's kind of like was a big TV actor to a degree and then didn't make the transition to film. And so now he's kind of stuck doing guest spots as, a, as an actor. And he's got a stuntman that comes along with him and helps him do everything. Like he's kind of like his gopher, day-to-day -day gopher. But he's also his best friend. And they've been together for like eight years. And one is like, ah, whatever that was. Leonardo DiCaprio is the, is the actor. Uh, Brad Pitt's the stuntman. And there's this whole other storyline with... Um, with Sharon Tate, um, uh, who was an actress who was killed um, in in that time period, and uh, it's kind of this is Tarantino's love letter to Hollywood in the 1960s and and 70s, and um, I loved it. I thought it was great. Like it's not his best film. It's not. It's like it's it's. Here's the thing. It's near the bottom of his filmography, if you're asking me, honestly. Like, if the the nine films he's made, this is is probably, like, closer to the bottom of, of the list. But it's still really good. Like, I really enjoyed it. I want to see it again. I was actually supposed to go see it again with my friend Rob. I haven't seen it again yet. But I'd like to. Um, I hope I get to see it again in theaters. Um, if I don't, I'll see it, obviously, in video. But... But or on DVD or Blu-ray or Netflix or oh, sorry, I'm yawning. I'm tired. I don't know. I so as all Tarantino things, it gets a little self-indulgent sometimes. But if uh, like in the dialogue and the way people talk and stuff, but it was a really nice love letter to Hollywood of that time and and those type of actors and like he's very thorough about what he looks at for. And what he showed um, Leonardo DiCaprio for this is the guy you're playing. Like he showed him footage of lots of actors from that time that were basically this guy that that had a career and could act, but weren't weren't the best actors, and they were left kind of behind by the not making the transition because Hollywood changed, especially in the western because he's like a western actor mainly, like does a lot of westerns. And then there's this whole Charlie Manson angle in there, but he's not really in the film for very long. But uh, it's in it's interesting. I don't know most of the history of that, so to me, I I knew a little bit here and there. But it it's kind of an alternate reality of of that time. So it's like this is what could have happened. I don't know why I keep yawning. I just keep doing it. Anyway, I really liked it. It's filmed really well. It's acted really well. Um, Margot Robbie plays Sharon Tate. I was like, what is her name? I'm like Maggie Gyllenhaal. No, and it's like Margot Robbie. No clue why. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's it's a very solid film. It's kind of my review is kind of like the film. It's kind of meandering along and just taking its own pace, and that's what the film does. But it's still rewarding. And uh, if you know Tarantino, it becomes ultra violent, violent, not violent, ultra violent. I can't say it. Ultra violent, violent. There we go. I don't know what's wrong with my tongue today. Uh, near the end. In a fun way, but it's, yeah, some people will have trouble with that. 
anyway, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, Beth really enjoyed the film. And, uh, yeah, I'd give it, like, four, four to five, which is a low score for a Tarantino film. A lot of his films get five out of five for me, at least four of them, four or five of them do. Um, so, and he's, like I said, this is his ninth film. But saying that, it's still really well made, enjoyable, and uh, if you've seen his other stuff, check it out. I think you'll highly enjoy it if you've never seen a Tarantino film. This is an interesting one to start with, but, um, yeah. So... There's, there's my review, and uh, that's all I got today. Thanks for watching, and uh, God bless, and hopefully Tarantino makes more movies, because he says he's stopping at 10. We'll see. I don't know. Have a good day.